Hello world, today we are going to learn how to take a coding challenge on a hackerine platform. The test in the here we are. So we are only having a fun question over here. Okay, so success rate is only 44. Okay, maximum score is 20. Okay, let's take this challenge. Okay, so let's understand this problem. Raman is organizing a lucky draw contest for the customer who are purchasing a car from his showroom. He has to take any five number from the customer. Okay, so uh, until now, I have concluded that we have to take a five inputs from the customer. Okay, Raman has decided to filter out the lucky draw and he puts a condition that if a sum of the second number and the fourth number is less than fifth number, then the customer will get the message big congratulations otherwise display message try next time write a program to help the raman uh, using a function concept so we have to implement this with the help of a function okay so input format and any five number okay constraints all numbers should be greater than zero second number should be even fourth number should be odd if constants uh, are not if constants are not matched then display wrong input all number should be greater than zero. The second number should be even. Fourth number should be odd. If constraints are not matched, then display wrong output. So here the sample input is given. So we have to give one, two, three, four, five, five inputs, and on the basis of our comparison of the condition, we are having an output. Okay. So here is our editor. So I'm going to click this one so that it would be aligned. With the problem okay so now uh, we have concluded we have to implement it with the function function name is not given so we can choose uh, the function name by result so white let's suppose fun is the name of the function okay okay so now uh, we have to take a five inputs so here um, and either you can use make use of array or you can use a different five integer variable so here i'm going to use a array instead so it's very simple only one name i have to use in this case so the size of array is five in this case okay so here scan f percent d comma and percent e of i i would be my loop variable so i'm going to use a for loop which is varying from i0 to i less than 5 i plus plus okay that would be my for loop so i have to declare i variable over here okay so okay uh he has to take any five number from the customer so that we have done Ramana decided to filter out the Lakita and uh, he put a condition that if the number, um, if the sum of second number and fourth number is less than five, then the customer will get a message, big congrats, congratulations. Okay, so we have to make this condition. So what's the condition is that? So we have to figure out the second number and the fourth number. So in our case, our array starts from the zero so here i'm going to use a condition if e of it's the second number means it with the index one uh, okay the sum of this one and fourth number okay plus e of fourth number it means with the index three okay the sum of this is less than the fifth number okay the sum is less than the fifth number the fifth number would be a with the index four okay uh, is less than fifth number then the customer will get the message big congratulations so here i'm going to copy the phrase big congratulation okay so this is my condition okay so here print f so this is what we need if this condition is met okay okay <coughs> otherwise display the message try next time okay so let's cover the else part okay so else print f so again i'm going to copy try next time okay 
enter try next time yeah. here we have done so this was the simple program implementation now if i have to clear all the test cases i have to implement the constraint part okay so here let's take the first constraint all number should be greater than zero okay uh, the second number should be even the fourth number should be odd if constants are not matched and display wrong output okay so if our constants are not matched so in that case i need a con uh, wrong input okay so it means i have to check the constants first okay so the second number should be even okay so if the second number would be a of 1 uh, the second number should be e1 that is modulus 2 not equal to 0 okay so it means it shouldn't be odd okay so what else uh, okay i am using a or condition if one of the condition will falls in that case uh, i'm going to enter into this if loop okay so uh, the second number should be even uh, okay the fourth number should be odd a with the index 3 that should be odd percentile 2 that should be odd equals to equal to 0 so i am inverting i am taking the opposite condition so that i will capture in this log okay so if constant are not match then display wrong output so i'm using a printf over here okay so wrong input semicolon so here i'm going to match this if with the previous if so f wrong input else if if that condition is met that being could big congratulation and else but try next time okay so now uh, that was the program implementation okay display one line only as a message okay so now uh, let's call this program in our main function so fun i'm calling the fun okay so before submitting uh, i have to run this code so that i can check uh, okay let's see test case 0 congressionally pass the sample test case okay okay so exactly this was needed so that was good uh, okay uh, let's uh, uh, give our custom input I have to give the five thing let's uh, violate some constraints the second number should be even second number should be even let's take second number to some odd there would be a five input okay total is five okay run code Okay, so for that, so we're having a okay, wrong input. Okay, so let's submit this code and let's see. Okay, yes, submit my code. Okay, so it's processing, checking all the test cases. So one of the test cases falls. Okay, let's uh, go through our code. Uh, okay. We have to figure out that which test case we hadn't passed. It's test case one. Okay, let's see. So I'm going to copy the code from here because I'm not going to add it at over there only. So going to be problem. Okay, so let's see. If, okay, I'm replacing this code with the perfect one. Okay, so let's read the constraints again. Uh, okay, so according to me, we have missed the first constraint. All numbers should be greater than zero. So that check we have missed. Okay, how to implement that? So we did a program for the prime number. That would be the good approach over here. So here I'm taking a one flag variable. Initially it's a zero. Okay, so inside the for loop, okay, I'm put this kind of inside the for loop and uh, if any of the value like 
e with index i less than equals to zero then what i'm going to do i'm setting flag to one okay so here i have to give one more constraint that flag equals to equals to one then it's a wrong code okay the code is toggled okay fine flag equal to flag. okay let's run this code now again uh, processing congratulations now submit code yes submit code okay, let's see how many test cases we are going to okay all the test cases passed congratulations Okay, do comment if you need anything else regarding a hacker rank i would be happy to help in that regard okay thank you